This week, I wanted to talk about the ministry of reconciliation. This is drawn from scripture in Ephesians. It says, all this from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. As human beings, we have a very special place in God's heart. We are his children. And the same way I treat my own children is the same way, in fact, better, the way God treats us. He looks upon us as his most prized possession. And he looks at us as his biggest representation of his nature in the earth. And one of the biggest things that God is always working in us is reconciliation. He's trying to reconcile us from our broken past into his glorious future that he has for us. He's trying to reconcile us back in our relationships where there may be brokenness. He's trying to reconcile us back to what we had in the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve broke was the communion and the connection between man and man, man and woman in this case, and man and woman with God. And so throughout the journey of life, we're walking through this path that's littered with all kinds of things that threaten to destroy that communion, that connection, and that reconciliation that God has come to build in us. And we have manuals like the Bible. We have things like historical figures and people in our lives and family members and people that love and serve God and pastors and brothers and sisters in Christ. And all these are supposed to help us on this path. But just because they're there, it doesn't mean that obstacles will not be there. It doesn't mean that there won't be people that hang in the way and stand in the way and try to obstruct us from reaching our goal. So our job is to fight through and wade through all these things and create an atmosphere in us and in the people around us to bring about godly reconciliation. It's a gift from God. And when I realized this, it was almost like a eureka moment. I'm on this earth to reconcile not only my heart to God's heart, but my heart to everybody around me. And it's a journey. It's not something I'm looking to create and magically fix in one day. But it's a journey of relationships. It's a journey of friendships. It's a journey that we live out with Christ in the middle of it, Holy Spirit helping us and whispering to us what to do, and our lives intertwined in the will of God. It's an exciting journey. Let's be reconciled to one another. And most importantly, let's be reconciled to God.